up guys, James Palms here. This is a quick review on the Like Suns LED grow lamp. So this is the 1000 watt series. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. This is their 1000 watt series grow light. Uh, so it's all LED. Uh, it's, you know, this size, I don't know, it's about the size of a thick book, perhaps like a thick novel. And uh, it's about the size of a sheet of paper. And this is the model. Let me just turn it around here. It's the 1000 watt version of their grow light. Uh, I don't know, they have a, a bunch. This one here was $80 though on Amazon. It's one of the cheapest ones. I bought two of them. And uh, I just wanted to say this is possibly one of the best lights. Uh, probably not the best light for palms, but you don't want to spend, when you're not growing weed and you're not growing vegetables, like food that you're eating and stuff, you, and you're just doing this for fun, you definitely don't want to spend a ton of money. Sorry about my shoes in the background there. You don't want to spend a ton of money on a grow light. These palms right here have all been underneath this grow light. I only have one and one tiny other 40 watt uh, grow light in this whole closet. I guess I'll just show the closet. So this is my walk-in closet that I have. I have one here, you see, and it has two modes. So you have, this is veg, which this is for weed. So I don't, or perhaps some other vegetables, I'm not sure, but you get your veg and your bloom. So you can go bloom is all red or you can go all blue, but either way, or you can do them both, right? So that's what I do is purple is both of them. And I basically have one here and I have this other cheaper one, which was only $40. that kind of hangs down in this area here and get some of these plants. And then this is just one bulb, uh, which is an LED grow bulb, but it's just a light bulb It's very low wattage. It's like 20 watts or something. And it just does some of this area to get to beef it up a little bit. I just had another, this is a Christmas floodlight thing. I just stuck it in my drywall so that I could uh, get a little more light down there. But basically I hang one of the panels like this, but almost all of these plants, this is all they were getting is uh, grow light from this, is light from this light suns. This is what they turned on. I know this is not going to be a super informative video because I don't know a lot about grow lights. You can see this one's like suns as well. So, and there's a thousand watt same model. I don't know a lot about grow lights. There's all kinds of information. There's tons of people probably telling all kinds of stuff. But if you want to just grow palm trees, I recommend this light. There's, there's, for $80, I don't know what else you could get because of all these other, uh, all the other lights out there, there's some you can spend thousands on, there's some that you can spend just a couple hundred bucks on, some that are $40. Some of them won't do much from what I've seen. These, this, this light has been like four feet in the air, far away from them, almost just one light on these uh, palms and they're looking good and they're growing good and they're green and they're happy and healthy. And I have one other, like this light here, I put on my bigger ones. And I've put it on this palm here and it exploded and it was growing good. Not that it wasn't already a fast growing palm, but it's made like three leaves with that, with that grow light. And this is one of them. So this is not any bigger and it is not any flimsier than the ones that were made outside in the full sun. This is slightly shorter, but I, or slightly smaller, but there's the, the, the texture, everything I've, put other palms under grow lights and they make them really big and super laggy and the petiole's so thin that as soon as you put them outside they snap in the wind. So this, as long as you keep it, this light here I have, this. it says it's 1000 watts, it's nowhere near that drawing, but if you put that right on here, right on the top of as the emerging spear, it's going to make you nice fronds. It's going to make them good for a Mexican fan palm, which is a very sun hungry palm. So you should have no problem with most palms growing them under it. So. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I'm just going to say it's a perfect light for what I need and I'm going to buy another one. So uh, it's sort of just a quick review. The product quality seems perfect. They have a really good hanging system that they give you. That They give you these four uh, metal straps and then they give you two of these like uh, little uh, carabiners and they also give you a nice uh, like a, uh, it's a another one that has like a retractable part on it. It's not a carabiner but it's a retractable with a, with a string. So it has a string already on it and you can adjust and lower the height with just the two carabiners. Actually, I can show you because it's on this one right here. So this is it right here. It has another carabiner with this little device and it ratchets. So you can let it down like this by pushing up 
and it lets the plant down and then or the the light down sorry and then you can all you got to do is pull on the one side of the string and when you pull it uh or yeah sorry it's on this side it's got two lights on it but when you pull it ratchets it up like that and it locks it into place so it it seems to work really good and you get those for free which is which is nice um and they're not that heavy and they're not that big and they're not that loud they are very bright though so you want to have it in like a closet or somewhere where it's not like in your living room brightening up your whole room and making it like super bright and purple uh, but other than that i mean they're perfect lights so this is uh, just a quick look at them and just what i use uh, some people ask what i use to keep my uh, palms growing through the winter and this is perfect i'm going to buy more of these i'll probably buy two or three more and uh I'm going to have a greenhouse, I believe, next winter, so I'll probably have two or three of these uh, all in the greenhouse and maybe just one that I'm bringing my favorite guys inside. And uh, so that's what it is. That's what it looks like. And here you can see that I have big hands, but that's what it is. You can see with my cat here. Hey, Harley. Everybody wants to see you. Haven't seen you in a while in the video, huh? Say hi. Say hi. Hello. Say hi. You're a good kitty. She likes when you pet her butt. She push her butt in your face. Oh. She's like a dog. She wants you to pet her tummy. All right. And she just wants to play now. She wants to bite my hand. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. So that's the light and a quick light review. This is what I use. These are my favorite ones. I had those other ones, which are a lot cheaper, um, and they're a lot. Uh, you can tell they're very uh, they're very light on the power. So uh, they don't keep a lot of the palms uh, super happy. These ones here are keeping them happy enough that the, the leaves that are coming out aren't, aren't, aren't ridiculously laggy. Like they're still making some, some decently sturdy, uh, sturdy foliage, which is uh, really all that I care about as long as they keep it relatively, uh, as long as they keep them growing, really. They just have to keep them going for a few, uh, like four months, really, because these are small. They come inside for almost four months. So uh, I'll put them back outside. Sometimes I get them outside in March. Um, and they'll stay outside from March all the way till uh, right around Halloween. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. And uh, later, hopefully you can uh, get find the right light for you if it's not this one. Take it easy.